Hello everyone, today we're gonna show you how to use clock to save your canvas. So we're gonna start new project, we're gonna clock name and uh, we won't change anything, everything will remain uh, as a default except uh, uh, canvas size. So for this project we will need one button, we're gonna rename it save and here also we're gonna add save and then we're gonna add canvas and we're gonna put it fill parent with width and height in order to take uh, uh, whole uh, size of the screen and uh, we're gonna use clock and we need file to store to somewhere store our uh, saved work and we use, we're gonna use just one more thing which is a notifier you will later see why so once the button save is clicked we want to save our canvas as something but as you can see it's a little bit different type of block than this one so we cannot just attach it over here to skip this problem we're gonna use one variable we're gonna call it canvas name and uh, we're gonna add empty text box over here and then we're gonna just pull out from from variable this type of block set the global canvas name to and then we're just gonna add uh, attach this block and what we're gonna need is we want to join two things together so we're gonna need this block and now we're gonna use clock we're gonna use clock in a, this type of format so we're gonna add it over here and we need once the button save is clicked to, to call clock now so we're gonna call clock now and uh, we need extension for our file and extension will be extension will be in a this text I, I'm gonna add PNG that's my personal favorite but you can use whatever you want and this is everything you need to once the button save is clicked to save your canvas but since we added notifier I prefer to see this notification to pop up and to tell me that my file will be saved as so we're gonna add uh, uh, two things in a list so we're gonna make a list and then we're gonna pull out one empty text blocks text block in which we're gonna write picture save as and we're gonna add it over here and then we're gonna copy this block and attach it over here and ladies and gentlemen this is all the work for now so we're now just gonna build this ap key file and we're gonna add it to our emulator and uh, you will see how these things work so let us just uh, this is something that uh, I figured it out uh, it's a really cool way to use a clock to every time generates a different name so it doesn't overwrite my file because in a paint pot uh, tutorial they just tell you save canvas as uh, my canvas and then Whenever you click save, it, it just overwrites the previous work. So we're just gonna pull out this one. Sorry, I'm gonna go to a folder and then we're just gonna copy it to our uh, to our emulator. And you're gonna see how this thing is working. So as you can see, this is what we made, and we're just gonna click save. And every time the notification pops up saying picture saved as the you can uh, you can uh, uh, change the uh, how long the notification will last will it be short or long I prefer long but it's up to you these are only the details but as you can see whenever you click save the picture is saved as saved as and then it generates and the only thing is changes here currently is seconds so you can see it was 32 seconds now it's 37 seconds and that's all uh, as you can see it's very simple 
uh, very simple and uh, I personally use this uh, type of uh, uh, naming my canvas in uh, my application which you can find in the description of the this video and thank you for watching and see you bye bye